pop concerts in the name of science, where only young, healthy volunteers are allowed in. Tickets swapped for contract tracer equipment and protective masks. And instead of the usual sound checks ahead of a gig, floors and disinfectants fill the concert hall. Tim Bensko held three performances in just one day as part of the study. The first stimulated the very beginning of the pandemic with no social distancing. There were larger distances between the volunteers for the second show and hygiene measures. And by the third, a gap of 1.5 meters was strictly enforced. I would say that we are now laying the foundations as to what hygiene concept could and should look like in the future in order to reduce precisely these moments of risk. The experiment called Restart 19 is studying the movement of people and the flight of the tiny airborne particles that can carry the virus. The background is something called the, the Philadelphia Bond Rally of 1918. So this was a big festival that happened during the Spanish flu uh, pandemic in 1918, and which was followed three days later by an enormous flu outbreak in the city of Philadelphia. Now, during the COVID-19 pandemic, it's become apparent that that connection isn't quite so simple. And we've had many examples of large events that have occurred during the course of the pandemic. And it's been quite difficult to nail down uh, single large events to any difference in the, in the parameters of the spread of the virus. Results are expected in four to six weeks. Experts say we need those sort of studies to help governments decide how to react. We have to coexist with this virus until a vaccine is developed. And we need more evidence base and data to then drive the decisions that are made by governments. So while there are opportunities for super spreaders to occur uh, at mass gatherings, what we need to start to um, investigate is what type of interventions are most effective in these scenarios. With cases rising again in Germany, this experiment is the only show in town. But organizers hope their research could help find a way to bring the audiences back. Ume Kulsum, Al Jazeera.